Hey you guys, Damon D'Amico here with D'Amico Dance Company in Houston, Texas. This is Jessica Miller. She's going to help me out with our West Coast Swing Advanced Class recap on January 4th, the first class of the new year. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm glad to be back and uh, posted some more videos for you. So we worked on a couple of different concepts that both included a spinning left side pass from a cross hand. The first one went one, two, three, and four, and five, and popped the lady out six. We could also land that sideways facing away or if that was with the audience or camera we could face that way but we came around to a six that does not have a natural anchor so this went three and four and five six hold seven and eight set that up to bring her back down the slot right so if i take this from the other side we went one two three and four and five and six so there's a little trick that has to happen here when you do this and it is that you guys as you become a better leader you realize one two that once the lady receives the prep you can lead a spin in a way that makes her want to close her feet or you can lead a spin that causes her to take her feet apart in this case we want her feet to close more so as she lands on the two one two i'm going to take this hand up a spiral staircase if she is the center post and I go around that spiral staircase, that means my right hand is going to move slightly negatively through space, which is how I get her to close her feet. As she goes around, I'm stepping in behind her. I keep this taut, take it down and around to her waist, and I transfer energy to her, meaning that I'm not running from her at the end. So one, two, a lot of the guys are going like this, and then the guy runs away, so the lady doesn't really have a reason to exit. So hold your ground. So the first one goes one, two, three, and four, and five, and out six, hold seven, and eight, and bring the lady in, note whatever you'd like to do next. So ladies, you're closing your feet naturally, and then when you pull against the grain, they would separate naturally. You step down on your left foot, step out on your right, and out on your left, and do a stop there at the end on six, okay? The next one, um, takes a little bit more uh, skill and thought, right? So this time I'm still gonna have her close her feet pretty much on the three. One, two, three, and when she lands on the four, I'm no longer gonna give her any rope. So she feels very short sheeted right here. She continues to turn on that foot. I bring it around until she wants to move back down the slot and out. I'm gonna show it to you all the way through. It goes one, two, three, and catch her, bring the foot around, let go and take the ladies back and send her out. This one, this way, this way. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop on four, one, two, make her close her feet, three, and whoop, and she feels like, why are you stopping me here? It's because I'm stopping her that I'm able to get her to turn around on that foot, and her left foot tracks around the sundial until it starts to come back down the slot. I release the hand, go to the back, have her continue to face me. When she comes around, I will leave my hand off of her and use the forearm to make her go out and continue to face me. If I close my hand around her rib cage when she comes out, she thinks I'm gonna give her a pop out exit, which is totally fine, doesn't matter. It just depends on what you want. I like the circle of it and then she continues to turn left at the end. So one, two, three, and I catch her on the foot. I bring her around, take it to the back and out. You ladies, when the man takes your back, you could also pick your left arm up and get it out of there so it doesn't feel trapped. So one, two, it's pretty quick for you to figure that out, but this arm over the top and out, you'll probably like that a whole lot. And that's the two movements that we did tonight and worked on the intricacies of being able to catch that and manipulate the lead. Thank you, Jessica. You guys give us a thumbs up and share this info with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to that button down there and a little thumbs up and like it. Leave a comment, ask questions, and then uh, also you're welcome to submit videos of things that you would like for us to break down for you, which we like to do often. Thank you all so much. Happy